Road to GH will reveal that after Rick successfully gets Heather out of prison, with evidence showing that her past evil actions were due to cobalt poisoning from her hip replacement, people start to have divided opinions about her. Supporters believe that Heather is merely a victim of a severe medical error. Her body had suffered significant damage from the cobalt leaking into her bloodstream, severely affecting her nervous system and leading to abnormal behavior. Over time, with treatment, Heather has gradually recovered and Rick continues to persuade everyone that she deserves a chance to reintegrate into society. However, there is still a strong opposition to Heather's return. Critics argue that a person like her, even with a medical explanation, cannot be easily forgiven. Heather had once posed a significant threat to those around her with her cruel and relentless actions. The cobalt poisoning may be a plausible explanation, but is it certain that the treatment has truly changed her nature? The ruthless memories and habits she once displayed seem deeply ingrained in her character. Moreover, whether Heather has fully recovered remains a big question. Even after treatment, the neurological damage caused by cobalt might not have entirely disappeared, but only temporarily suppressed. No one can be sure that she won't relapse and repeat her dangerous behavior. Even Rick, who has defended Heather, cannot fully guarantee that she has truly changed. Heather may have escaped prison, but the shadow of her past still looms, causing everyone to ask the question, is she still a potential danger? The first thing Heather does after being released is visit the Quartermain Mansion, surprising many. She goes to meet Sasha, but the purpose of this visit remains a mystery. When Sasha sees Heather enter, a wave of fear washes over her. Memories of Heather's brutal past flood back, and Sasha cannot hide her terror at the presence of woman who once posed such a threat. Heather appears calm, but her mysterious gaze only adds to Sasha's unease. Has Heather truly come to reconcile? or is this just another step in her unpredictable plan? Not only does Sasha feel fear upon seeing Heather at the Quartermain Mansion, but deep down, she harbors an unrelenting hatred. Heather is the one who killed Brando, the man Sasha loved most, and that loss has turned into a profound resentment. Since Brando's death, Sasha has continuously thought about revenge, promising herself that one day, Heather would pay for her crime. Heather's presence not only revives painful memories, but also ignites Sasha's anger. She tries to remain calm in front of Heather, but inside, her plan for revenge has already been set. Sasha no longer cares about forgiveness or seeking justice from others. She wants to face Heather herself and make her feel the pain she has endured. When Heather arrives at Cody and Sasha's home, the atmosphere immediately becomes tense. Sasha cannot contain the surge of anger when she sees the woman who killed Brando, the person she loved most. Heather, with a calm demeanor, walks in, but this only fuels Sasha's rage. As Heather begins to speak, Sasha can hear nothing but the pounding of her furious heart. She lunges at Heather, unable to hold back her emotions, landing a punch to Heather's face. Cody, standing nearby, tries to intervene, but is too late. Sasha continues to attack, each punch releasing the pain that has long accumulated inside her. Heather, unprepared for the sudden violence, stumbles back, trying to shield herself from the relentless blows. In a fateful moment, Sasha delivers a particularly strong punch, inadvertently causing Heather to lose her balance. Heather falls, striking her head on the corner of a table, and collapses on the floor. The room suddenly falls into complete silence. Sasha stands there, breathing heavily, unable to believe what has just happened. Cody rushes to check on Heather, but it's too late. Heather shows no signs of life. Sasha is shocked, her eyes wide with disbelief. She never intended to kill Heather, never wanted this to happen. But now, the brutal reality stands before her. Heather is dead, and she is the one responsible. Sasha looks at Cody, who is also struggling to process the horrific situation. Both of them understand that their lives will never be the same again, and they must now face the unimaginable consequences of this unintentional incident. Heather's death is not only a tragic end for one person, but the beginning of a series of complications and nightmares. Can Sasha hide what happened? What will Cody do to protect her? And was Sasha's hatred for Heather the primary reason behind this tragedy, or is there something more hidden beneath the surface? 
These questions will continue to haunt both of them as they try to cope with the consequences of this horrifying event. News of Heather's death quickly spreads across the city, causing a massive shock not only in the media, but also within the community. The incident becomes the center of every conversation with questions continuously raised. How did Heather end up at Cody and Sasha's home? Why did this meeting end in tragedy? Who will be held accountable for Heather's death? Even though the incident happened in a fit of anger and by accident, there is no justification for Sasha's actions. Both she and Cody now face enormous pressure from the public and the law. The police begin investigating every detail of the case, and all the evidence points to Sasha having beaten Heather to death, even though it may not have been part of the original plan. Cody, although not directly involved in the fatal action, will still be held accountable for his involvement. The public, unrelenting, demands justice for Heather, a woman who died under mysterious and controversial circumstances. Sasha, already burdened by the pain of losing Brando, now faces the possibility of losing her freedom. Everything has become more complicated than ever, as she must now contend not only with the courts but also with her own conscience. Cody, even standing by her side, will not be able to escape the consequences. Both of them now face tough decisions as their lives are forever changed.